I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay, goals are really short and sweet. Okay, the goals are exploring ways to receive and be received. All right, just give me a moment here. I'm just really absorbing this. Exploring ways to receive and be received by others. So for you to receive, but then also what you share to be received by others. Okay, I'm ready. Just want to make sure I don't okay have any any interruptions okay okay this was very quick and it's a jarring <sighs> literally I hear you say ah like really loud um, and it was a lot more dramatic than that, okay? <laughs> but there's a, like a sledgehammer that just a, um, hits you really hard on your head. And it crushes your third eye and your crown chakra. And, it's, and it hurts. And at the same time as this event happen, happens, it's like um, there's like a wall up. Um, a glass wall that is also cracked. I'm not sure if this is like a protective wall that you've created or what in order to keep your balance with your third eye and crown, we'll investigate, okay? Um, but this has some really heavy impact. This hurts, this really, really hurts. Um, I, it, it's, it's totally shattered. I'm supposed to say that sentence. It's, I'm looking at this and my hands are like, it's totally shattered. And I see that the wall is broken, this glass wall. It's like bulletproof. Like nothing's gonna break this, but yet something has broken it. And I'm literally looking at you fall into your knees and your skull is crushed. It's pretty messed up. Like there's bl brains even, blood. And it's like a mess. I mean, this impact really shattered. It's totally shattered. You have no idea how to repair this. And you feel like you won't ever. Like, there's no repairing this. It's interesting because you want to explore ways to receive and then be received by others. But perhaps you're... You're saying one thing, but you need another thing. And that need is the most important way for you to receive and then to be received by others because something happened here that really really massively impacted you hardcore how come you're not able to acknowledge that can you help me repair and something happened and it really hurt me and it felt like it it hit me in my mind. It broke my mind. I mean, you have to know about this. It's so loud and so obvious. It's almost like you don't want to acknowledge. It's like. I'm, li I'm listening. It's a glitch in here. <laughs> I'm trying to find the words to explain what it is. And it's really interesting. Let's say that you know, um, I'm, I'm asking my guys for like an example, something that we could work with here like day-to-day -day life. Nothing's coming to me right away. Um, I'm waiting for something. Let's say you spilt ketchup and it's literally all over your shirt and you have a wedding to go to and you're the bridesmaid and you got ketchup on your bridesmaid dress and this is this is shattered moment here. Oh my God, right? And when you reach out for help, instead of saying, I have ketchup on my dress because that's the real thing that you need help with right there. You would say, um, I, I think I have a headache and... 
it's like the real issue, for some reason, you can't acknowledge the real issue. So you divert somehow. You And it's almost instinctive. Like, you're going to have to learn this behavior. You're going to have to learn it. Because the glitch is your natural go-to. The glitch that something, like, you know what the problem is. The ketchup on your bridesmaid dress. Like, it's serious, you know? But you would, for some reason, instead of acknowledging the real problem, you would somehow come up with some other problem. And say that was the real problem. When actually it's right there. It's the ketchup on your dress. It seriously is. <laughs> this is the best way I could define that glitch that I'm feeling out. So when you ask me about, um, you want to explore ways to receive and then be received. You have a massive shattered mind here. And so that is you, instead of the ketchup on the dress, which is your massive shattered mind, you're saying, I want to know how to receive and be received. We have to work on this. Like, this is something big. And y me pointing it out is going to help you. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be easy for you to learn it. Because it is so ingrained in your instinctive behavior that it could take years. But once you're aware of it, and start observing it as best you can. But it's so natural that you would, it's almost like your eyes go blind to the real problem. And you can't simply just say what the real problem is. You really, you have to know about this. This is going to change your life. This is going to totally change your life. We got to look at the real problem now because my God, I, how are you surviving with this? I mean... I'm literally trying to figure out how to repair you. You're angry with yourself. That's the first part of m repairing you. And because you're angry with yourself, you're feeling ashamed. And therefore, you are in the way of your own healing. You would rather pretend that that didn't happen. So then this whole thing was just simply um, to learn how to receive and be received. It's like huge avoidance of the real problem. But the real problem is something you created yourself and you don't want to acknowledge that. You put the ketchup on your dress. <laughs> this is also something that is a learned behavior in your life for some reason. You're going to learn how to overcome this though. You will overcome this in your life. I can feel it. I can feel the frequency and the potential that you have to conquer this. It's a really unique lesson. Really unusual. You'll conquer it. It might take some years, but you'll get there. Okay, that that is already big step one. Is just acknowledging that you were wrong. I mean, that's kind of what it is. That you did it to yourself, like acknowledging that you created your own problem. What create? What was it that has to do with your emotions and how you handle emotions? It isn't like a normal everyday problem like people would have. It's something like you felt something really loud and your emotions became like scrambled eggs. And then it scrambled the situation and shattered your your block and your third eye and crown. And it really, if you could just slow down and just slow down, you have really special emotions. I mean, really unique. That's also part of the challenge. This is a really special lesson. It's really a unique lesson for a human being. Because you have very special usage of emotions. So, but what you have to do is when you're noticing a, an event like a, like something has just smashed me in my head, just, uh, just stay with that. Don't run away from it. And just stay with it. 
don't come up with expl explanations because it's almost diverting you away from the event. Don't try to understand the event itself just because your feelings are so many feelings and so loud in every, every direction that your mind won't be able to conceive of it. Only your feelings. So if you suddenly have an experience where one per somebody else, your average Joe, would have like four different emotional responses to it which is a lot, okay? You would have like a hundred. <laughs> so, so your mind can't, your mind cannot work with a hundred different emotions. I mean, we can work through four emotions. Well, I'm confused and I'm kind of sad and I'm kind of angry at the same time. But then I just want to let it all go because I just want to be peaceful. <laughs> four human emotions reacting to something, okay? But they also have to be processed over weeks like everybody else, okay? That's life. But yours is like an explosion of emotions and your mind's trying to categorize it, trying to explain explain it. Your mind won't exp uh, be able to explain your emotions, okay? So let's just bring it back to the event, okay? The event. I'm actually bringing you back in time to the event that had such an impact on you. You do not have to explain yourself. You do not have to. You literally... All The only explanation is you have a lot of emotions that you're experiencing right now and you just simply don't know what they mean. That's it. That's period it. Like, it. period it, period. <laughs> That's it. Okay, you had, uh, because this was, man, was this ever loud, like, I'm helping to get you back on track again, and it's working, and there's a massive something that kind of went into the back of your head, and was a bit manipulative, okay, so it's kind of like a, a parasitic thing, you could say. It doesn't want to let go, that's for sure. Is it part of yourself? I don't know. Still making sense of it. There's three places I'm looking at. Your mind, third eye and crown, which need repair. Um, your emotional gut, solar plexus particularly. Heart a little bit, really loud solar plexus. The back of your mind, there's something here. Because as you're coming into a line, it like, oh, really? Oh, I, I can thank you for helping me to see what I do when I try to process my response to an experience. You have a lot of emotions and your mind won't conceive of them. Just give yourself literally five days. Don't try to explain your emotions. Literally just be in the emotions themselves. I feel angry right now. Try to simplify them if you can, okay? Don't try to explain them. Don't try to explain the hundred emotions. Well, this is happening because of this. It's actually just try to go through each one of the piano keys because they're like many sounds. So let's just simplify it. One of the emotions is anger. Okay, let's get down to like some kind of grounded. Um, why would I feel angry? What are all the reasons why I would feel angry right now? Literally just, just throw out some ideas. Don't even say that those ideas are exactly why you're angry. They're just something to work with. Don't even try to define this. <sighs> I'm angry because I want something that I'm not getting. I'm angry because I feel misunderstood. I'm angry because I feel... Because you're, this is all about feelings for you. Alright, now just work through the feeling, okay? And just try to just sit with a feeling and then try to just identify with it just in a very simple childlike way. Explore some of the other feelings. Like try to simplify them down if you can. Um, I feel like um, this experience is teaching me this about myself. Okay, so that can be a feeling too. Like there's something important that I need to acknowledge here. But because I'm angry, it's really hard for me to figure it out what I'm supposed to learn or take away from this. So anger then is overshadowing my progress. Um, but there's other emotions. I mean, there's other emotions in here. I mean, it could be jealousy, could be... I mean, it's like so many emotions. I'm trying to file the, through all of them. But these are more anger, like um, difficult emotions. 
but if you can go through these emotions, my God, it's you are going to triumph in your life. And you're going to become a master of emotions. And you're going to help other people with their emotions too. You, you have to start seeing that part of your role is to master emotions. It's interesting because I'm really into psychology. Like the way people think. Um, I find it just fantastic. And it doesn't matter if people are attracted to self-destruction or people are attracted to um, generosity or people are attracted to um, being too judgmental. I find our the way that we process our reality is so fascinating to me. So for instance, what you got going on here, holy smokes, my mind's freaking out with like awesomeness, okay? Yours is on the level of feelings. Like, oh my God, like you're gonna become a master of feelings. Does that mean I get to become a master of the mind? I don't know. <laughs> I do like this, though. I do like understanding these things. Okay. This thing in the back of your mind, I have to create more understanding in order for you to love and accept yourself, to come to peace with whatever the event was. That is going to repair itself naturally because now you can love and accept yourself, which then is going to naturally release any kind of attachment. You still want more, um, you still want to understand more about emotions. You're really curious about this. But I do feel like I need to go investigate this in the back of the mind because it's not just disconnecting. And you are looking better in the third eye. We need to understand what this wall is. You should never have any walls up. Really, this is you protecting your emotions. More, it's just interesting because you got hit on the third eye and the crown, but you're like, the wall, I feel, is more so there to protect your emotions. <sighs> but you don't need to protect your emotions. You need to learn and work with them. You need to feel. You need to be angry. You need to be sad. You need to be all the emotions. You need to be confused. You need to be frustrated. You need to be all the emotions. Obviously, you need to be happy as well. But as you s w learn to reconcile your emotions by just accepting them and living in them, um, you will be very happy and very peaceful and very open-minded and very help. You're going to be a big benefit to people. You are going to help people um, with their own emotions big time. Super, super big time. What is this black thing? Like... I just need to at least try to see if I can understand it or remove it. It's what you don't want to see inside yourself. Is it a parasite then or is it you? It is. A, it's, it seems to be both, which is very strange. How could you be parasiting off yourself? while simultaneously afraid of seeing something about yourself. Like, it's kind of an aspect of yourself, while it's also quite parasitic in a way. Like, it's feeding off of the problem and then not wanting you to see, see yourself, like, see things about yourself. But it also feels like yourself. Pretty nasty. And it really likes when you have these vulnerable moments because it gains power. And then it seems to control you, control your life even. You're not aware of it. You can overcome this thing real easy. You just need to get back into a strength and a grounded um, relationship with your emotions. It'll disappear. It's actually pretty easy. It will disappear. It'll disappear all by itself. You know how we have like um, the, the little positive voice and we have the little dark voice? It's kind of like the dark voice overcame your own mind. Like the dark, dark, you let the dark voice convince you of some things, but it's not like full blown. It's just like kind of like the dark voice is trying to give you th things to think about that are avoiding you from working on your emotions. But when you work on your emotions, no more power to that little, like, devil voice, you know? 
It's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. <laughs> Stay in your mind. <laughs> Stay out of your emotions. <laughs> and don't even know that I'm here. Don't look at the man behind the curtain <laughs> of your mind, right? It's already getting smaller because we've identified it. You're actually feeling a lot brighter, super peaceful, super rejuvenated, super rebalanced, like happy. You're like a ray of sunshine. You're, you're really um, vibrating on like harp strings of sunshine type emotions and really easy to receive, really, really easy to receive um, your beautiful emotions. Um, yeah, it's, it's just smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's like really small. It's already, it's already dis in disappearing mode. <sighs> okay, that's all I can share. Thank you so much. What a cool experience. Thank you for sharing. All right. Um, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.